determine the quality under the new Australian standard for extra virgin olive oils, a voluntary code which was introduced in 2011 to ensure quality controls and consistency of labelling. Let's give that a good mix. And we also threw in an imported oil. The GC brand Master Chef George Kalambaris sells, which comes from the Grecian island of Crete. All the leading Australian producers, everyone that makes certified Australian extra virgin olive oil, has on site testing and sends the oil away to a laboratory to get more tests done to make sure it is good quality and it is what it's supposed to be. It's state of the art, multi million dollar purpose built with room to expand. Floor space, 10,000 square metres, 4 million litre stainless steel storage capacity, 1.5 million litre rainwater storage, five bottling lines, laboratories. He's got a magnificent laboratory in there to do world's best testing. I mean, he could set the benchmark in testing oils, absolutely. Um, he has a full-time guy there that is trained to do that. Kevin Hoey, another of the many managers who've left Mr Harney, says with facilities like that, there can be no excuses for a single drop of bad quality oil ever leaving the big olive factory. It should be tested on, on, the, uh, on the entry, uh, tested after production, and then random tests before it's dispatched. Kevin lasted less than three months as general manager. He says he quit after his many written warnings to Mr Harney about poor workplace practices. There were some major, major concerns. I mean, there was some equipment there that I, if it, if it had a started up, I just would have walked off. So, well, I wouldn't allow it under my management. If you raised any of these personally, you got absolutely berated. But on to our lab results, and the most disturbing. None of the oils could be classified as extra virgin as claimed on the labels. Seven samples, including his flagship Ozolio, the premium Kurong, and the Big Olive were classified as Lampanti. In other words, better suited as lamp oil and not fit for consumption without further processing. Two were classified as low-grade virgin oil. From what I can see, there is at best a blend of refined olive oil with a bit of extra virgin, but none of them are actually as labelled. Uh, at worst, they're made from bad olives, they're old oils, and in fact anyone who tastes them can tell that this is not good product, if they know what they're talking about. But it gets worse. The big olive and the Kurong samples were most likely adulterated with another unknown type of oil. All but two samples we tested were found to be well past their best buy date, with one of the big olive oils almost four years past its best, another nearly two years. It was much the same with the so-called gourmet Kurong, rich and flavorful, and the Benny Vita. None of them are extra virgin oils. Most of them are lamb panty oils. So what are you insinuating, Frank? Well, they're not the oils. You say they are on the label. In fact, many of them are well past their best before well, date. The Kurong, rich and flavorful, and the Benny Vita had no batch dates another breach of the Food Standards Code, while three oils had best buy dates greater than two years, which doesn't comply with the voluntary Australian standard. It should be on every bottle. Uh, these oils that you tested are way beyond that. In fact, most of them were not extra virgin even before they were put in the bottle. Not even before they were put in the bottle? I reckon they were bad before they went in the bottle. You've been deceiving consumers. Absolutely not, Frank. This is really below the belt, my friend. Finally, Master Chef's George Calambaris's oil from Crete, home to olive trees said to be more than 4,000 years old. Luckily, his isn't that long in the tooth, but our tests revealed it's almost a year past its best, and an old oil, which would only pass as virgin oil under the new Australian standard. There's no reason why you can't get good oil from Greece or Crete. They have great varieties and they know what they're doing. This oil that's in George's bottle, sadly, is pretty old. And again, not extra virgin oil. Yeah, but at, that, at the stage in its life where it's way beyond extra virgin and really uh, shouldn't be sold. Mr Calambaris was overseas when we told him the news and has yet to come back to us. There's no suggestion he has deliberately imported an inferior product However, Paul Miller says 
George should take more care. But I would really expect a bloke like George who knows his food and particular knows his Greek food and particularly with Greek heritage to know what good olive oil tastes like. Testing by the Olive Oil Association has revealed the best five and worst oils being sold in supermarkets. Woolworths tell us they will support the new standard and expect their own branded oil to be compliant by mid-2012. Coles says it will do the same, but over time, and will withdraw any other branded products that do not meet labelling and food safety regulations. The All Australian Extra Virgin Olive Oil. Cobra Estate. Taste the difference. Paul Miller advises you buy brands that have this seal of certification, like the award-winning Cobra Estate from Victoria. I think people feel betrayed when they hear that a product as special as Extra Virgin Olive Oil that they bought in good faith is not. You know, and, th and that's why the Australian industry went to so much trouble to develop its certified Australian extra virgin stamp and develop the standard for olive oil in Australia. All we're asking the retail sector now is to apply the standard. It shouldn't come as a surprise that the Big Olive isn't a member of the Olive Oil Association and its products do not carry the certification stamp. In the meantime, former workers like Kevin Hoey and Sean Riley planning a class action to recover their outstanding wages and entitlements. We'd come a long way for a change and, and, and to the land of opportunity and it just turned to custard. Mr Harney refused an interview with us and then had his lawyers write letters accusing us of making this all up. Now after seeing our results, the Big Olive pointed out that the products were bottled before the standard came into play. However, our laboratory says they still should not have been branded extra virgin oil and would have failed the international test. They also alleged that the samples were tampered with to make them look bad. Just plain ridiculous. And they demanded we publish a media release implying disgruntled workers may have been responsible for their contaminated product. Very happy to cooperate. We've got a fantastic showpiece up there, and this isn't really the right way to be going. Fantastic showpiece, okay. Mr. Harney and Mr. Mogul Bay claimed through their lawyers, Isle Sally, they knew nothing of any of these practices and blamed their ex employees. They say they're investigating what has happened and are committed to complying with the Australian standard. They also say they're withdrawing some of the products that don't meet that standard and have assured us there'll be no problems in the future. Well, there is